Since I graduated from Edinburgh College of Art a few years ago now, um, I have been working with community groups um, in healthcare and also in education. So I run a lot of collaborative projects, bringing people together to make collaborative artworks. We're at uh, Benihi Forest. Um, this was the location that I chose for my Create Connect project that I'm doing with Aberdeenshire Council. Um, the project is about bringing together people who are living with dementia and also the carers of people that are living with dementia. Um, I chose to use this location because firstly it's beautiful and secondly um, I wanted to create adventures for people, uh, provide opportunities for people to come and experience the forest and get involved with it. Yeah, each workshop we do a different technique. We want to keep it fresh and interesting for people. Behind me here we have got, um, it was a textile project. We collected some leaves and twigs and things from the forest and then we took them back into our workshop space and we used them as stencils and we did a bit of printmaking onto fabric and then we put them all together to create this um, kind of a bunting type artwork. And it's got a lot of good reaction from people walking past. It's nice and colourful and bright. Um, today, uh, for our workshop, uh, we're going to be making little mini lanterns. We've got some battery-powered fairy lights. We'll be making uh, lanterns from willow and coloured tissue paper. And then once they're finished, they'll actually be hung in the forest. All the artwork that we make during the workshops gets left in the forest for all the dog walkers and everyone to come and enjoy. And we found that the participants are um, extending their experience by bringing their families back here to have a look at the artwork and also just enjoying everyone's reaction to it. We've got a wonderful group of people that have been coming to these workshops. Um, it's a very relaxed and social atmosphere. People have really enjoyed coming and meeting other people that are in the same situation and they're getting to know each other. We've had a lot of people coming week after week after week. And when they first joined, the first week, we had people that were quite shy to get involved. They were looking at the equipment that was on the table for them and they were thinking, what do we do with that? And now when they come in, they come in and they grab the stuff off the table and start making things. So it's been a, it's been a good progression for them that way. And they've been able to get to know me and they, they have a laugh with me now. After the first week, I had a lovely comment from a, a carer. She said, this is the nicest day we've had in a long time. She's a carer for her, her husband and they really enjoyed getting out and about together and doing something creative. Quite a few people that I've been working with have found themselves coming out for walks more often. I think um, coming here and, and having the little walk at the end of the session has, has kind of reignited that um, love for being outside and getting out and about and realising that they still can do that. They might have to be a bit slower than normal but um, they can get out and about and they've enjoyed that I think. <laughs> they like to come back here with their families to show off their artwork so they're obviously proud of what they're making as well as enjoying the experience. When we finish we can go out and see what they've done for the past few weeks. It's just amazing to see their faces and oh I did that, I did that and they remember which ones they've done. It's just so interesting. Everybody just really the same problem. You know what I mean? As far as illness is concerned, it's near really somebody's better than the world. Uh, and getting out and being a heat situation is great because I mean the last two weeks we were able to walk uh, down here, which is a great plus, really, at the end. And, uh, They're very friendly. Yeah. And just walk They get me out of the house. You don't get out of the house? No. Very I'm often. No, I've got to do it with my daughter and my son. They're not working the TV. My wife and I built the house together, so I suppose you could, if, we can, if we can build the house together, surely I'll be mad. Join her. Well, after I retired, I gave myself a couple of years just to settle down and then I thought I wanted to, to get involved in something. You know, and um, so uh, dementia was something that interested me, so I thought I would find out and the local library gave me a, a contact detail and that's how I got involved. There's, everybody makes this. There's, there's nobody yet to click, click, click away and while you're left doing nothing. And this is, it's really is nice. We've had some giggles, I'm telling you. Not only the women. What I've noticed is that they really get into the activity. 
<laughs> the concentrate, like Sandra today. She's she's very good, so she'll she'll yeah, she's very very, very good. Mm-hmm. But um, whether it's drawing or whatever, it's just so interesting. And a nice change from bingo and things, Margaret, isn't it? Is that what you said? I never. I hate bingo. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Uh, lots of people were all with me. Oh, you do. You have to go to bingo. I says, you, 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 you go a long way before you see me. It's the interaction. Uh, you get great fun with them. And you feel that you're giving something back to society, you know. Mm. Oh, the companionship, I think, the, just the laughs, it just takes you to yourself, you know. Isn't that right? Mm. When we go home, I like we, going to, yeah. when we go home we'll, we'll have a laugh about it again. <laughs> so it's really, it just makes you feel better. So you can help to support the, the carers. You know, they feel that if they can speak to somebody who kind of understands a wee bit. I mean, I, I don't have any personal... Um, I mean, when I was working, obviously, I, I did have a lot of gay connections with people who had dementia, but um, it was... I just feel that it lets them open up and, and see things that they maybe feel they can't say to their families and, and, uh, and also for the, the people who have Alzheimer's themselves. I think it helps them to express themselves in a, in a way that maybe they wouldn't have thought about doing, especially this art group. I think, it, I think it's great. I really do think it's great for them. Have you done this before, Sandra? Is that no. what the secret is? No. <laughs> You learn something different. How do I put that one on? Every other week we've had something different to do, which has been uh, just super, super. Uh, some people talented in various things, and I mean, you're maybe better at something than what you're at or something, but at the end of the day, everybody enjoys it. And, and uh, I think that's the main thing, is the enjoyment of the thing. There's no problems, there's nobody shouting and screaming at you. <laughs> you can make mistakes and a laugh, like. So at the end of the day, it's, it's, I find it very enjoyable. And you can. The feedback from the clients, it's what they want to do, and they've tried several groups, and this one is That's a best, by the, 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 far the best. There's no cliques, no... everybody's friendly, but most of all, I think, they find it so interesting, and they can do whatever activity it is. No, not too much to drink It's really interesting and just so different. What are you doing just now? I'm not going to put it in one of them. Where do we put it? We were going to hang it up. I've been looking a lot um, for activities, for socialising. There's not much out there for dementia. Um, apart from your day centres, there's uh, exercise classes, which is about an hour. There's uh, tea dances, but not everybody's able to do the dance, and it's okay to watch. But this, I feel they can participate for two hours, and they get so much out of it because they made the product at the end, and I think it's... And then what I do is I go back and print off the pictures, because uh, it's on the website, and they get the pictures of what they've done that day. Margaret has hers up in your fridge, don't you? The activities that you've done here, yeah. the, the pictures of the stones, and the, it's all on our fridge, and she tells everybody that comes in. They're usually everything that they do here, of course, is put on display, so that, that people can see what we're doing at the end of the day. Uh, and it's, uh, it's just uh, the test of everybody's patience. That's the best thing. <laughs> oh, we're so excited. We're ready yesterday okay. for me, weren't we? Yeah. <laughs> she was coming yesterday. She really liked like it. The, the whole thing is beneficial as far as everybody's concerned. Is, uh, you know, with the same problems. And I mean, we, we, there's so much enjoyment comes out of the things. I mean, you can make a right hash of the thing. <laughs> you just get a laugh.
Uh, so it's really enjoyable. And